Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgina, and I'm the Honest Vocal Coach. I teach singing all day, every day, when I'm not making videos like this one. And if you want to work with me, you can do. There are links below to my online singing course and also my critique option. If you like what you see today, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So Ellie is with me today. It's been a while because we've had a uh, lockdown in the UK. We've not seen as much of each other as we used to. Uh, plus she kind of lived here then. So yeah. that meant she was here all the time, but she doesn't live here now. She has her own place. She left me. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm an adult now. I've got to get out of the way. Yeah, she's trying to adult at the minute. It's not going very well. <laughs> it's really not. Okay, so... Uh, we are looking at Steps today. This is the first performance of Steps' new single, What the Future Holds, written by Sia. Now, I've already reacted to the single, the new video, but Ellie hasn't heard it yet, so she's kind of excited to, uh, you know, see what's going on. She's a bit of a Steps fan. I found yeah. out uh, that they've got a... <laughs> Tragedy. They have uh, gigs next year. They have a tour planned, so we might have to go uh, and enjoy all the new music. Uh, and she, uh, yeah, so she's not heard this. And this is from the one show, uh, which can often be a little bit of a disaster when it comes to live performance. Uh, I'll put a clip at the end of the video, a link, uh, so you can see when the Pussycat Dolls tried to perform on the one show and how that went. Um, so... Let's see what happens. Let's dive in, loves. One more teardrop, the surface tension breaks. And if the surface tension breaks. Like, he has a serious face and he's like... And then he goes... Well, I think Ian looks... Uh, H looks very chiselled, blue steel. Uh, Claire's vocal at the beginning I thought was really good, but it was quiet, wasn't it? Um, there's a lack of volume on the old microphone there. Uh, let's keep going. Because you know what? The girls often do the vocals for steps. So Lee and H really don't get the opportunity to, to do any vocals. So it's really nice that they've given H a chunk in this. And he sounded ace. It's still quiet though. One foot in the past and one foot in the future. Look at his face there, he's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm smashing this, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, really good vocal from Faye, but there's definitely audio problems. It's not as loud as it could be. I, I don't know, just audio doesn't seem right for me. <laughs> I'm not sure on that move, if no. I'm honest. I think the vocals are good there, the harmonies are really blending well, audio's not the best, but that's... <laughs> it's, it just looks like the calling the sun's down, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a tough move, that. I but, think maybe once or twice, but there's quite a few going on. But, you know, we're not here to comment on the choreography. No, but I'm saying not... that, it does make a difference as a performer and a singer if, you know, you're flapping your arms about, you, you're not going to get the focus on the voice as much as you are. That's what I mean, your arms right next to the place that brings... So it does make a difference. Sound. But what I was going to say as well, that high note... I don't know who did it out of them. Oh, it was Claire. I would have thought she always does the higher harmonies. It was a bit unstable, I think. Not in a... Like, it wasn't bad. It was just... she. I don't think she's... Nerves. Yeah. And it's obviously been a long time since she's... I love H's face. We shouldn't laugh. We're not laughing he's at you, H. We're really not. But you've got proper blue steel going on in this, yeah, and like, it's just awesome. He's like, oh, yeah. I'm back. Oh, blimey, Lee. That was great. Really good. You just don't get to hear him sing that often. And... I said this in the last video, I judged with Lee on a judging panel. You know when I used to do open mic and live yeah. and unsigned? I'm pretty sure it was live and unsigned or open mic. And he was on the judging panel with me. He was doing fitness training at the time. And he's such a nice bloke. He's really super genuine. Why did I know that you've done a judge panel with Lee from Steps? 
Yeah, did you not know that? No. Yeah, I've done Annie Nightingale as well, who's like a huge... Well, she was a huge uh, radio presenter, Radio 2. I know we've done bits um, like you've judged. Malcolm McLaren, I was on a judging panel with him. Uh, he was a huge music mogul type. So, so, yeah, really fair nice. few people. Right, let's keep watching. Please tell me what the future holds. Oh, no! What happened? It's not the end of the world, though, is no, it? No, again, first performance... So, you know, we still love you, Lee. Yeah. It was kind of funny, the look on your face when you were like, oh, crap. Carry on. Ah! <laughs> Live TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck. You see the way the camera's, like, scooped away from him because they realised. Oh, Lee. Tell me what the future <laughs> like two know. claps. <laughs> Was there no audience there? <laughs> um, I actually really enjoyed it. I thought I that did. all of the vocals were pretty awesome. Uh, there were some vocals that didn't quite blend uh, the harmonies, but I think that was an audio issue. Over Overall, the audio wasn't that great, which is a bit of a shame. And Paul Lee. Oh, mm. Lee! What are you doing? Never mind. First performance... You got through it. I didn't notice it at first, though, until you mentioned it, so... Yeah, so maybe it's me and me eagle eye that was watching. So, overall, what did you think of the first performance of the song? What do you think of the song? I like the song. I do really Sounds like great, the song. great, innit? A couple of things I didn't like. The outfits. Yeah. A bit too dark, especially with the staging being so dark. Yeah. It's kind of... I didn't have an issue with that, to be honest. You couldn't see them, the two girls in the back, you... Unless yeah. they were in the front actually singing and... could have, Do you think it could have been bad lighting, not necessarily yeah. staging? Yeah. So lighting issues, audio issues. And I just didn't like them weird suspender pull-up type things that the, the girls were wearing. I didn't like them. And um, I love the song. What the future holds, it's about accepting what's gone in your past and trying not to hold on to it too much because you don't, you don't want to bring on your baggage... Yeah. You bring your baggage along, you don't want that. You're going to try and focus on the future and hope for more, really. And if you hang on to that baggage all the time, you're never going to be a better person. Well, if you're carrying something that heavy, you're not going to get very far anyway, are you? <laughs> That's very well said. Very well said. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've liked to see Ellie back. Um, she will be in more videos in the future. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe there. And subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, loves. That went rather well. <laughs>